So, hello again, a new day, another project. This time I'm not happy at all because my battery suddenly don't push any power. It's kind of strange, just like that. There's nothing, power surge or anything like this. So, in the meantime, I got a new battery. It just came today and I want to replace it. Of course, the first step is the classic dismantle. You have this in many other uh, tutorials and videos I've done. I don't want to talk about this uh, too much. Get off the... Okay, first of all you have to check if the laptop is shut off. Turn it off for good. Not sleeping or anything else. Then we take the hard disk cover from here. This is kind of hard sometimes. Take off the hard disk, short screws over here. So this is nice because you don't uh, mix with the others, you can't. Okay, the hard out now. All the screws are off. Yes, check this very careful before. You don't want to. Okay, we got one here. Oh, you little. Now, I think I can do it like this without any plectrum or any other help. Yes. There we are. So, this is out. And you see over here, we have two screws. One here and another one here. These are silver, I may say, or shining screws. Nickel. Looking like screw. Just take them out. And then it's very easy to take it off. Now let's open the new one. There we go. Okay, some more tape. Okay, so there we have the battery. User manual or something, I really don't care. So the battery is 1C14B8K. So, you just put it here in the top, on the top it has some uh, plastic hinges. Okay, this is in place. Connector, it's on. Now let me have the screws back. And that should be okay. So if it's only the battery, I really hope so. Because I'm afraid it's something else, but let's see. Okay, Sometimes we have to put the power to for the laptop to to start. So we have here some this is coming from green cell and uh, we have some guarantee and other stuffs. That's nice. So it's looking like the battery is charging. You can see the icon here. And that's a good sign. But it's not delivering power. Okay, so we have a main board problem now. Now at least I know that it's not the battery it's not the battery problem over here. It's something related to the motherboard. Well, that's kind of strange or amazing, I may say, but I'm really happy in the same time. After I put everything back together, you know, the hard disk and everything, look here. So, the battery is working as it should. It's charging. It's in the air and it's charging. So, <laughs> I'm really happy for that. I can't believe it. it. This is really funny. Maybe it's got something to do with the the extra hard disk, the mechanical one, the classic one, I may say. In the moment when I put it back, everything got normal. And that really makes me happy because I'm not exactly in the mood of uh, working on the main board and checking all those MOSFETs and all the other stuffs. So, uh, it's kind of relief for me to see that the battery was the problem. Not the battery, the battery was very good, like capacity.
but I think the electronics uh, went bad. So then I can uh, try to have an explain and a repair to that battery, of course. I don't know, I, I don't know, I really don't know what's the relation between the hard drive and the battery and the BIOS and all this stuff because as soon as I put, I plugged the hard disk and I pushed the power, it was turning on. We can give a test. So the new battery, it's working as it should. It's uh, made by LG SEC and the wear level it's 95.5 4.6 I don't know because this is kind of strange it should be a new one but it's never 100% and let's see disconnecting the power supply and now it's going to discharging so everything it's nice I'm really happy about because I was really concerned about working the motherboard and checking all the stuff over there Okay, thank you again. Until the new projects, be safe and uh, see you soon. Bye-bye.